Welcome back to our continuing coverage of Hurricane Helene as it makes its way closer to Florida. Uh, right now, the storm is strengthening in the Gulf, and we want to go ahead and check in with Storm Team Meteorologist Brooks Garner. And Brooks, the National Hurricane Center just upgraded Helene now to a major a Category 3 hurricane. Yes, U.S. Air Force Hurricane Hunters, Garrett, flying into the storm, found winds of 120 miles per hour and a rare intermediate advisory outside of the standard 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. update periods. They've uh, declared this is a major hurricane, and that's important because with this data, they can then interpolate to decide, you know what, the impacts are going to be a little bit more extreme than they otherwise would be. Now, in this case, winds of 125 or 120 miles per hour firmly puts into the Cat 3 category. That category begins at 111 miles per hour. It's been experiencing a rapid intensification process from this morning to now its maturity as a Cat 3. It may even reach Cat 4 before landfall occurs around midnight tonight. The landfall timing has been delayed just a little bit, but it's still on track to impact Appalachia Bay. We're talking from Alligator Point, that's in near Apalachicola, all the way east potentially to, to Taylor uh, County around, say, Perry. But right in the middle of the cone is the city of Tallahassee, Florida's capital city that has yet to experience in its over 200 year history a direct landfall from a major hurricane. So tonight will be a very difficult night for folks there on the panhandle with the trees falling, the power outages, possible damage to structures, and of course, life and limb. This is a, a big deal. But don't focus on just the cone for impacts here in Florida. This is a very large system with a wind span east of the center that extends more than 400 miles. And so as we see new bands of rain developing as soon as 3.30, about an hour from now, we'll start to see the wind picking up and we'll start to see our tornado threat picking up. We have been looking at the latest models and it does look like we've got a pretty high tornado threat between roughly 3.30 and about 7 p.m. So stay tuned for warnings, stay with Fox 30 and as we start getting into these bands of rain between about 8 and 10 o'clock, we could see wind gusts easily exceeding 60 miles per hour or more, and that will be the full force of Helene as far as we're concerned with here in Central Florida, but there could be power outages as a result of limbs falling and, and trees falling, but most of the action, of course, as you get closer to the system. In this band, which extends from roughly Gainesville, Ocala, the villages to Spring Hill, we could see hurricane force wind gusts up and down in West of I-75 with the full force of Helene impacting the Big Bend from Levy County to Dixie County to Taylor County with wind gusts over 100 miles per hour. Garrett, we are tracking the latest. We've got TJ Springer in the house, uh, Noah Bergeron also here. We're going to uh, continue our team coverage and bring you the latest. This information streaming in right now in real time, and we're going to update the maps, show you the latest impacts. This is an important update here. Now that it's a major hurricane, we can look ahead to landfall and make assumptions at this point about what could happen, and I'll tell you this, it is going to be a, a once if you look at the history of Tallahassee a once in a lifetime kind of thing with this storm heading that way folks in Tallahassee have never experienced anything like this if they've been there and and you know they've lived there for their entire lives this is a, a first for this region so folks there need to be hunkering down now and and take the storm seriously if they're not already yeah, and still uh, rapidly strengthening. It right. is. It absolutely is. Yeah, we could see this thing go up to 140 miles an hour before landfall.